actually, uh, I walked out a bunch of time actually. Uh, I knew the field uh, pretty good. Uh, walked out great. Uh, shoot, jumping over actually from there. Took command, was nice and relaxed all the way around there. She just, uh, she's very big. Uh, very uh, long stride at uh, Philly. Very efficient when she moved. So uh, she just felt uh, like a big uh, freight train. I didn't want to uh, slow her down at any point. And I feel like, you know, when she was going, she was just getting stronger, you know, uh, every pole. You don't want to be trying to close on this track today, do you? Maybe not, but honestly, I don't think there's a feeling how she wants to run, you know. She's so big, and like I said, you know, she's very heavy, mm -hmm. and she has a big, long, efficient stride. So you just try to use that as your advantage. But the way the track's playing, I mean... Yeah, no, for sure, no, definitely. But you know what look like they come from the pace a bit. Uh, Gunnight was, you know, was uh, second to last and was able to win the race. Uh, if there's a good pace in front, I think it could be fair. But uh, realistically, like every dirt racing, you know, uh, if you're close and you're not going very fast. Uh, Rated state sweater with her pedigree. I mean, that's no small hurdle to cover for. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's a very well-bred filly. When she was young, she was a big, gangly, backward-looking filly. And um, honestly, at that time, I didn't see the ability in her that she's shown today. And I, didn't, I don't think she had it then. I think she was just waiting to grow up and uh, once she did and we gave her some time off and brought her back we run her on the poly track first just to get her started and and really she just kept on progressing progressing and every single step has been a very pleasant surprise for us. Is she, is she like a half or a full to somebody famous? That well, she, she's out of lockdown, who was third in the Kentucky Oaks here, and lockdown is a full sister to uh, Close Hatches, who was champion, and obviously the dam of Scylla, who won so impressively here last night. Um, so it's becoming our best family, definitely our best dirt family, um, and, and hopefully there's plenty more to come, and she'll be a nice broodmare to bring back ultimately as well. I'm not going to put a whole lot of emphasis on how the track played there just based off the pace. I mean, she was kind of cruising yeah. along on the front end. I mean, nearly 24, 48. You know, if you're a grade three filly, um, if you're getting fractions like that and not a tremendous amount of pressure, you're if you're good, you're supposed to kick on for home, and she did. I think she's, she's obviously very good. Yeah, so another turf fight. Oh, I mean, we're still coming yeah, up the turf fight. Yeah. What's sort of the... <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it was big. You know, we I kind of always thought she could run on the dirt. She just kind of found herself there for the winter. Um, you know, like a lot of our fillies, our Colts horses do. Um, it's just where she was when she come back. I tried her here on the dirt last year, um, and she ran really, really well. She probably needed a race. It was just the second race of her career. She didn't come out of it quite as well as we like. We gave her the time. She responded. She come back. She's been very good this year. Yeah, and her pedigree. I mean, you're saying she's family of close hatches. And, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. huge, huge pedigree that, um, you know, we're very fortunate to, you know, be sent horses like this, and I think Judd Mont and congratulate Judd Mont, and um, you know, look, she, she's got, you know, a royally bred filly, and you know, we'll see where she takes us, but she's very good now. She's a great winner. Yeah, how big a bear do you go hunting next? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we want to uh, try grade one. If the grade one came up, um, you know, a certain way, you know, I think at some point she's going to get her opportunity at one. I just don't know when and where.